Hey everybody, my name is Toby Bittenbender and welcome to my new channel, Tales from the Treadmill. <laughs> so yesterday my buddy Jared hit me up and I guess after watching a few of these videos, he was like, man, you should call your channel Tales from the Treadmill and I thought, that's hilarious. Uh, and it, you know, me and April were laughing about it last night, you know, we're into all of our horror stuff and stuff like that. And um, and I thought, you know, that's it's pretty apropos because I'm like the Crypt Keeper over here. And um, a lot of these stories are going to get pretty dark and going to go to dark places. And it's kind of like a horror movie in a lot of spots. So anyway, buckle up and let's get ready. And please subscribe, like my channel, all that good stuff. Um, and I, I can't wait to, you know, get into everything with you guys. So uh, yesterday, my video left off uh, talking about you know how around 9 or 10 I became obsessed with food and started eating everything that was put in front of me and um, I didn't know about portions nobody ever told me about you know diet and exercise and all that good stuff and I was a really active kid I mean we every summer my mom was a water safety instructor for uh, the American Red Cross and we would teach uh, swim lessons um, you know we got into it me and my sisters we were all in a flood in a car in an Impala uh, and we had to swim out of the, the windows to get out of the car and we got saved by these people at Dairy Queen anyway That's a whole other story But that's why we got into the American Red Cross and became swimmers advanced swimmers And then we all became lifeguards eventually, but I don't say every summer. I was very active um, You know and I had an active childhood. I, I like I said I played sports. I played tennis. I played soccer um, You know as a swimmer uh, I threw footballs a base anything I could get my hands on I'm playing sports uh, the problem was I didn't understand about diet and exercise. Nobody ever taught me and um, You know and that's look that's on me still. I'm not saying anybody uh, Was wrong or anything like they didn't have the knowledge either So how, how are they gonna teach me? you know what I'm saying how is anybody gonna teach me and I just um, you know So but what had happened was I had an, uh, an unhealthy obsession with food. I still am obsessed with food I'm a foodie to the core um, but what happened was I started gaining weight and like 10, 12 years old, I'm, I, you know, I just, you can see the pictures, like I said, back in the day, I was a very chubby kid. And uh, I started, you know, having a very, people at school, kids at school, they can be cruel, were calling me names. And look, I'm not trying to be a victim here. And, and you know, that happens to thousands of people, unfortunately, every day, you know, parents, we need to teach our children better. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I would come home, I'd be upset, you know, I'm, all the kids are calling me these names and you know my mom was like no you're just big boned <laughs> god rest her soul i love her but you know i'm like well that's not what they're calling me mom so anyway i i started having a really bad self-image and it led into my teenage years and the one positive thing that happened was i got obsessed with the guitar you know there are good addictions and guitar became one of them because you know, I would take all that angst and all of that stuff and go into my room and shut the door and just play guitar all night. And that's really what, I, where I fell in love with the guitar. And to this day, I still am in love with the guitar because it feeds my soul, you know. But leading into my teen years, I was so, I had such a bad self-image and low self-esteem. And, you know, maybe a lot of people didn't know that because I think I'm good at putting on a, a confident front. But in reality, I think we all have insecurities, right? And especially in your teen years when... You know, those are very vulnerable years for, for everyone. Uh, and so, I mean, like, a couple of different stories I can tell real quick. Like, this is how bad it was as far as the way I looked at myself. Um, I would It would be 90 degrees outside, and I'd be wearing a winter coat to high school. Ninth grade. I mean, I think even in my ninth grade picture, I've got a winter coat on, and it was hot outside. So, uh, because I was so... I just didn't like the way I looked and I didn't know what to do about it, you know? And then the next thing, I became a lifeguard, uh, wet and wild. And you know, when I was 16 and I was a shallow water guard, and the first two weeks, I I saved a girl uh, on the rapids. She was, she had gotten kicked in the back of the head, she was underwater, I pulled her out, had to do artificial respiration on her. Uh, she started breathing, thank God. But the lead was like, hey, you should try out for, you know, deep water guard. You, and I was like, okay, and so I go, and I just killed it because I'm a swimmer. So I did everything, and they were like, oh, you're, yeah, you're definitely going to be a deep water guard. So I get on the stand, and I wore a shirt. <laughs> I'm on the lifeguard stand on the activity pool on the weight pool, and I was in there wearing a, a, a shirt on the stand as a lifeguard. And people were like, dude, why are you wearing that shirt? And I'd be like, oh, I don't know. I made up some excuses. But the reality of it was that I just had such a bad self-image of myself. 
Um, that I just, I guess that I thought the shirt covered whatever. I don't know. Anyway, it turned really unhealthy the next summer. I uh, I decided I wanted to lose weight, and so yeah, I did get into the the uh, the weight pool every day at lunch instead of eating. I would go and swim laps for the 15 or 20 minutes or whatever they gave us at, uh, at there for lunch, and I would just swim in the waves and uh, and and eventually. What this led to, especially the not eating part, is that I would be super hungry and I would eat, and then I would start to get rid of that, if you know what I mean. I, I don't know the rules on here and what I can and cannot say, but but I was eating and I was getting rid of the food. And I started dropping weight, like freakishly dropping weight, completely unhealthy. The worst possible thing you could do. Do, do not, if you are listening to this, do not try this. This is terrible. You know, there are plenty of books and videos, especially with YouTube now, that can show you how to eat correctly and work out. But anyway, this is what I did. But the problem with this was I lost a ton of weight. I was tan. You know, I was thin. I had hair. You know, <laughs> but uh, people were telling me, man, you look great. They were complimenting me left and right. And in my mind, my messed up mind, I thought, this is awesome. That unhealthy addiction led me down a path for five years. I struggled with that. Um, up until I was about 22, something hit me and I realized this isn't the way, you know. Uh, and honestly, throughout the time, I have struggled with my weight. It's always gone up, fluctuated like 20 pounds, up or down, depending on the season, you know. And I, the consistency has always been the problem with me. But also, I was doing other things <laughs> that was taking me away of being healthy. You know, uh, my next video, I'm going to start getting into the alcohol situation. Um, you know, I didn't start drinking alcohol till I was out of high school. I mean, I was a late bloomer, but believe me, I made up for it all. So, listen, guys, I hope you have a great day. Uh, please comment down below if you have any suggestions or you have any questions for me. I love to interact with people. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's work through this thing together. And uh, I really appreciate you being here. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks.